Good morning, everyone. Apologies for the late commentary. I've had to dash and get into my day chair after playing already this morning. I will talk you through West Bromwich Albion Throstles versus Villa Rockets. I believe the score is 0 0. Five minutes into the first half. Battling away in this near corner, John Dixon and Bubba. Good rotation from Jonathan Davis there. Bubba brings it clear. Bears down on the throstle's goal. A bit of contact there between John Dixon and Bubba. Was the contact outside or inside the box? Discussion between referee. Adam McAvoy and assistant Millie Bean. McAvoy points to the spot. Penalty to Villa Rockets. Contact with the side of the chair. Dan Kay. This is Barris. You know. Early opportunity this. For Villa to break the deadlock. Referee blows his whistle. Dan K swings. Saved by Barris Innell. Wave of the flag. From Millie Bean. Indicates a goalkeeper moved just before the kick was taken. So a let off for Dan K. Can they? make the most of this second opportunity. Winds up. Saved again by Barris Inno. Denies Dan Kay not once but twice. Brilliant goalkeeping. He'll be really disappointed. I mean, not one, but two opportunities. Couldn't beat the Fossil's number 29. Well, that's it. That's provide any momentum for Throstles. We'll run you through the lineups very shortly. Summer Rice with this kick in. Blocked by Inolt. Comes in with it. Will deflect off. Kyle oh, Davis. Out for a Villa kick in. So far, in the opening eight minutes or so, that ball from K struck straight at the wall. Breaks now, maybe for Summer Rice. Can't make the contact she wants, and again, saved. Barisano, but this time, a two-on-one given against Villa. For those who are new to the sport, two on one. You can't have two players within three metres of the ball if there is a, another member of the opposition team also in that three metres. Excellent pace from Paul Hunt there to get out of the way. Comes to Ollie Rock. And the whistle blows again. Another two on one this time in favour of Villa Rockets. Pitch 
Amir Ali. Unfortunately, Baba will take. It's all right, she didn't get that one right at all. And it comes up for a Throssels. Kicking on this near side. John Dixon. No real clinical edge from either side at the minute. That play from Russell's just not working there. John, he's just reversing it, which allowed Villa to break. Still well to recover though. The Throssels. Number 40, he's done really well here. Got down the line. John Davis was mid break. Stops, gets the ball back, deflects off Ali for a Throssels kick in. So the lineup. So Barris in and in goal for Throssels with John Dixon in front. Wingers of Ollie Rock and Jono Davis on the ball now. Dixon fires a 1-8 across to Ollie Rock. Too far in front. There'll be a Villa Rockets kick in. For Villa they have Hamza Madeir in goal. Baba Ali in front with the wingers of Dan Kay. And Summer Rice. Good advantage played by the referee there for the two on one. Jonathan Davis trying to break away. Healthy bumper to bumper contact that is allowed. There's Dixon and Ali. Renew their battle. Substitution. For Villa Rockets. Off goes. Dan K. No doubt. Probably ruining. That penalty miss. And on comes ball. Good physical battle between these two sides, as you'd expect. This is a rivalry. West Brom and Aston Villa. Football fans among you watching this will be no stranger to that fact and ball from John Davis just too close to Summer Rice John Dixon couldn't get the 180 probably wanted on it corner for Villa Rockets which Summerise will take got Ali on top of the box ball at the far post Rice Ali little flick to the back post ball, ball. squirms out for another corner, this time on the far side. Same again. Rice to take. Any top of the box. All back post. Rice. Straight to ball. Two on one. Free kick to Throssels. Close fought contest. As you probably expect between these two sides, both very good defensively. Should be 
pelted by a ball from court A. Contact, excessive force, given in favour of the Rockets free kick. We direct after this substitution. Off goes Ollie Rock and on comes Amy Wharton. Villa going to try, well, that's what they're going to maybe try. Boom, boom. Rice. Straight at Barrett Enel had a great first half. The Thrustles keeper. Saved Dan Case penalty and then saved the retake, which kept the scores level at zeros. Last four minutes now of this first half. Men Strossel's nil, Villa Rockets nil. The first time Villa playing back to keeper. Humza. Wow, it was a good ball from Humza Madir. Ball couldn't quite get the power he wanted on the next pass. Yeah, referee. They've been signaling for a free kick. Two throstles there for excessive force. Allows throstles to clear their lines a bit. The Villa Rockets kick in. Summarise can't quite keep that in. Dixon, straight at Madeir. Davis and Rice. Be a corner ball, four throstles. Which John Davis will take. I'm just going to reverse a little bit, make sure I don't get hit. So we're going for Johnny Dixon just blocking off Bubba. This time it goes in the middle. Cheeky effort from Throstles, which nearly worked. Good movement and awareness from John Davis to get out of the way there, not give away a two on one. Well kept in by John Dixon. One that did Villa Rockets. Goal kick. Which I'm just going to tap to Bubba and off we go on a dribble. Again, healthy contact. That's definitely contact with the back of the chair. Free kick to Thrustles. Dixon takes straight to summarise. Good awareness to pick it off there. Last 60 seconds. What's been a, a cagey first half? A real clear cut chances. Other than that, Dan K penalty that was saved by Barrasenal. Just five minutes in. It's been end to end. Been very physical. Oh, 
Well kept him by Johnny Devers there, was going around the world. Tries to flick to Dixon, but deflects off Ali out for a thrust or kick. It may be the last chance of this first half. What can the do? They bring the keeper up to block off the wall. The ball sat on Dixon. So it's not really an option. Try again. This time Dixon goes try and goes around the wall. Good front bumper. Dixon. Met by. Bubba and there goes the half-time whistle. It is West Bromwich Albion Thrustles nil, Villa Rockets nil. Like I said, a KG first half, end to end, very physical. No real chances other than that. Dan K penalty. Both managers will have chats with their respective sides. Gives us a chance to take a quick break. Join us shortly for the second half.
Welcome back. The second half between West Bromwich Albion Thrustles and Villa Rockets. The score is 0-0. The only real talking point of that first half being the penalty save. Dan Kay by Barrazeno, not once but twice. Save the retake and that is some hefty contact. Two on one first, but there was a really hefty swing through over there. And after that, needs some uh, attention. Does John Dixon? Finds Davis. Tries to bend it all the way to that far corner. It's a great ball from Davis again. Good spell this from Thrussels. Oh, is that a play for a kick into Thrussels? Straight out comes a Madeira in the wall. Dixon died. Oh, him just jumped. That's when you need your ball quality. Your ball contact to be there. Hums are a jump. There was a gap. A ball from Amy Walton. Didn't find the gap and now Villa break right the way up the other end and win a kick into their own. So I was trying to put in behind Barrett in a bit straight at John Dixon. As Control of it again. Dan Kay to take this kick in. gap in this wall. Nearly does as well. Just about clear it. What will they try now? Again, straight at the wall. Kept in by John Dixon wins it, kicking. John Davis breaks down the far side. Not aware the ball had gone out for a kicking for his side.
Jonah Davis. Got past him to Madeir. Battles on the line. It's a real chance. I just got past Umza. But as so often happens, couldn't get past the vastly experienced Amir Ali. It's definitely a promising start in the first. Five minutes or so of this second half for Throstles. There's a shout from Dan Kay, who knew Amy Wharton had jumped. This time, I'm just straight at Dan Kay. Far too much pace on it for the Villa number four to control. I'm going to play for a Throstles gold kick. Summarise. Can Dan K get there? He can. Turned around on the line from Barrett and Saved. Really well. Met goal kick, well intercepted. And there was a chance for Villa. Their first of the second half, and arguably their best from opening play in the entire game. Right, down the line, Dan K. Doesn't quite connect with the spin, because they would have liked. All deflects off, Rice and goes out for kicking the throstles, but that is all the way through to Humza Madeira in the Villa Rockets goal. The chance here, again, Humza Madeira taking chances, think the ball was going to roll out. Once again, Amir Ali on the line, makes the save. We've had a couple of warning signs. Villa. The ball to summarise. Tries to strike with the near post. Saved by John Dixon, who runs out of play for another Villa Rockets kick in. Rice will take straight at the wall. Rice now driving. Pancake is out of the way. Good rotation. Rice has Bubber in support. Tries to find 99, but not enough pace on it. Good advantage played by referee McAvoy. Ball goes out of play. Oh, Davis can't quite keep that in. Villa Rockets kick in. Right down to Ali. Deflects off the back of Davis's chair and out for. Kicking to Villa, which is taken quickly by Rice. Tries to find Ali, but can't. Well done by Inel there. And that's definitely excessive force. Through the ball, pushing through the front of the bumper. Free kick. Two.
muscles. There's substitution made. Villa Rockets. Have a tactical change and a substitution. So Summarise has gone off. Down balls come on. And maybe in response to those two goal line chances. Robert takes the yellow goalkeeper jersey off, comes with here and now goes in goal. Good little flick frame Wards in there, down to Jono Davis. This pass blocked by Dan Kay and out for a throttle kicking. Dixon Davis. Dixon winds up the shot. Saved by Bob Rally. Hamza driving forwards. Really good play by the villa number 10. That ball takes a deflection off. Will a defender. And out for a goal kick. Substitution. Four throttles off goes Davis and on comes Ebanks. To Wharton. Tries to 180 it. Red by Madeir, but ball can't quite keep it in. Ebanks first enrollment, battling with Madeir, the two number tens in battle. Madea tries a cheeky 180 shot at the near post. Goes out of play for a goal kick. Just looking for that one moment of quality. Or one mistake. You feel that's all it may take. That's what it is going to take to settle this game. Mentioned before, both sides so defensively strong rarely do you see these two sides because they're more than two in a game especially Villa but yeah good switch to Dumble takes the touch into Inel and wins a set piece. Good recovery that from Enol. Orton. That by Madeir. He's taken over those middle dribbling duties from Ali. Now they've made that tactical swap. He's come out of goal. Battling away. Really strong player. By Dixon. He's got Dan K on the edge of the box. Finds a number four. Whips the ball across. Dan Ball. Oh, not enough contact or pace on that front bumper. From the villain number 17. It was a good opportunity. And that's where I mentioned about the quality. It's not been there. That clinical edge for both sides. That clinical finish. Good, well worked. Ball by Madeir. Found Danke. Good switch across. Just that last little bit, letting the side down. Just let both sides down, really. Yeah, Dan's got recognised there. Dan Ball's got recognised. Madeir's coming across. Got to let it go. Referee McAvoy pulls it back for. Two on one infringement. Oh, 
away from him. Got away with Dumbledore there, John Dixon. Reverse of that changer from earlier, then off goes Dan Ball. On comes Summer Rice. Four and a half minutes left. It remains West Bromwich Abbey Throstles. Nil. Villa Rockets nil. The longer this game goes on, the more Dan Kay will be ruining that missed penalty. Five minutes into that first half. Obstruction there. Definitely obstruction that. Don't think just driving across. Let's see what they're going to try here, but there's just a little tap from Madeira on a 180 from Dan K to the back post. There's the tap. There's the 180. There's Summer Rice. And the shot just wide of that near post. Is Villa Rockets who are finishing the game stronger. The two on one there. Kay and Medir are judged to be too close by referee McAvoy. Look at disbelief on the face of Tony Kay. Dixon finds Lee Banks well. Dan Kay does well to recover and now can drive Villa up the court again. Great dribble of the ball is Dan Kay. Met by Dixon. Does well to keep the ball in. And kind of try and drive through. Kay will fix out to this left hand side. Kept in by Wharton's got Dixon supporting the edge of the box. Madeira does well. Close to a turn one, but not this time. That sets up for the kick in. Really not seen much of other rallies since they made that switch. Adorning the yellow jersey. He'd be loving life for this for the Tour de France. Kick in to Villa. Summer Rice. Finds Dan Kay. Not quite. It's been one of those games of nearly. Another goal kick for Brussels. Somebody definitely wasn't five metres there. It was probably like three. Last 60 seconds of normal time before we have any additional time. Down to Dixon, flicks to Ebanks. Good clearing ball there from Dixon. Bob Rally's there. Got one into Madeir. Two on one in favour of Villa. Now to drive down on Ali. He's kept it in well. And 
zeros on the clock. Last chance. Then for either side to find a winner. Dixon across the box. Blocked by Bubba Rally. Comes to Dan Kay. Poor connection there, but it comes to Summerise still. Ring to additional time. Up in the corner. Bubba. Tries to sweep it across to Dan Kay. One look at the watch from McAvoy. A second look at the watch. Puts a whistle to his lips and blows. Four full time. West Bromwich having nil. Sorry, West Bromwich having the Fossils nil. Villa Rockets nil. A cagey game. No real clear cut chances for either side. Apart from that penalty. Dan K, five minutes into the game. And his first effort saved. Got a retake as Arsenal was a judge to have jumped before the ball was taken. Then Inel saved the second one. I don't think many will be surprised. This was a low scoring affair. In fact, Nil Nil probably doesn't surprise a lot of people. Two sides are very defensively strong, as I've said. So that concludes the action here on Court B. For now. Up next, we have on court B. Nottinghamshire taking on league leaders Aspire. And on court A, we see West Bromwich Albion taking on Manchester United. So take your pick. Join me back on court B in a little bit.